Here we go, having too much fun again. <laughs> Your calls are invited. They are invited because, um, and you know what? You can change your name if you want to. I mean, that's all right. Half the people do when they call. I know that already. Uh, you want you don't want somebody to know you're having a little bit of problem looking for a job and you think maybe it might be you. Um, go into another room because this is your opportunity to really talk with somebody who knows, somebody who can um, can help you work this through. And I'm talking about Nicolette Reed is with us now. She's a certified image consultant and... Um, we're ready for you. We're just ready. Here we go. You've got one chance when you walk in. <laughs> That's it. Right? That is it. You have one chance to prove to them that you are the end all and be all to this position. That's right. That's and it. you've got to convince them and it's not just what it's not just what you say and it's not just what you dummied up on your resume. No, God no, cuz they know that. They know that people fudge on a resume. They they know all the the tricks of the trade when it comes to a resume. So what's going to stand out? is when you walk in that door, you need to take their breath away. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, good. How how are you going to do that? 416-872-1010, 1-800-561-CFRB. And on your cell phone, it's star 8255. So where do you start? Let's see. Where do you start? I always talk about the fundamentals, especially when it comes to working with, I work with a lot of HR managers, a lot of managers in general. So you know, my sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, on their list of one to 10, usually number one is how the candidate looks because it's a form of branding. When you get hired, you're basically being branded for that company. You're representing the company. You, sure are. you are. When you leave, when you talk to your friends, when you go out, the first questions people ask you is, what do you do for a living? And if that doesn't correlate with how you look, they're not going to believe you, much less they're not going to associate that with you because you need to have... Um, uh, it needs to come together. Do you know what I mean? I do know. It what needs what to I'm come getting together. from you is that you need to do a little bit of research maybe. Yes. And you need to, you don't always, you're not going to be the same way walking Everywhere. into every company. No, no, especially not. You're like, going to uh, have to actually mold you know, yourself. Mold you, you, you need to, you need to morph. And and exactly. You need to morph yeah. into what they need because that, that's branding at its finest. Um, I have a background in retail now, I wasn't in sales, but I did visual merchandising, which means I built the stores and the, the interiors and things like that. Now, I would see so many women, girls, women, older women, it doesn't matter, come up to the manager and then hand in a resume but while wearing T-shirts and jeans. Okay, that's an automatic no. It just it, and it says to me, like, that's you it. don't know who's around. You don't know what eyes are watching you while you hand in this piece of paper. What's professional about this? You, you there, know, there's this thing, you're oh, going to take regular. the time for this. How much time are you going to take on the job? Right? Seriously. And the yeah. managers, while they walk away, they take the resume, crumple it up, put it in the garbage or use it in the fax machine. Like, <laughs> you're really, they will not even look at you. If you don't have the respect to put together a proper outfit right. that is empowerful, that is that is that says confidence what do they want with you and you've got to watch yourself um and i'm cheating here because my friends on your on uh, your behalf i was asking her some questions <laughs> <laughs> you've got to watch yourself from the moment you walk in because the gatekeeper that's what i call them the secretary yeah. the the assistant to who, whoever it is you're going to be talking with that woman probably a woman is a Sponge. She is taking up every last piece of information you're giving out, and it's not even verbal. As soon as you walk in, she's going to know whether or not you're a friendly person, whether or not you're a reserved person. She's going to know whether or not you're good at communications. God forbid you smoke. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Do not. That's my biggest pet peeve. Do not smoke before an interview. Or smell like you smoke. Or smell like you smoke. And don't, don't even try to that whole chewing gum. It's 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 repulsive. You never know who's around. You never know who likes smokers, who doesn't like smokers. I know many people who will not hire somebody because the fact that they smoke. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Because everybody has their own different, oh, their sure. own different things about them. Everybody's very is as an individual. They always have their own different things. And if you have one thing that they just cannot get over, you're done. Okay. So when you're sitting there and you're waiting. What should you do? What should you not do that the gatekeeper is going to pick up on and pass on later, maybe? Do not talk on the phone. No cell phone call. No cell phone. Turn it completely off. Turn it off. Okay. No um, Twitter. 
whatever that yeah. thing is. Yeah, I'm I hear just you. I don't know what it is either. I... Just literally, like 24 hours ago, I just got you did. On. Are you going back? <laughs> I will. I I See, tweeted. Going back. I tweeted that I was on the show today, so oh, okay. my followers are listening. All Hi right. guys, and uh, <laughs> and um, definitely no chewing gum. All right. Uh, don't pick and prod at yourself. It shows lack of confidence. All right. You need to do that way before you leave, before you leave your house. You need to make sure your collars are done up. Make sure your your um, cuffs are done. Make sure your pants are hemmed. The lipstick. The lipstick is fine. All that. Don't do your makeup there, especially for women. Do not do your makeup in the no waiting room. No powder, no lipstick. None of none that. Of that stuff. Okay. Um, perfume. No perfume. Zero. Zero. If you can do unscented deodorant, unscented things, it's better because some some environments. Do not uh, do not allow perfume. So if you come in, they're very strong. Allergies are very big with people. It's a big turnoff if you come in. If your smell comes in before you, it's a big turnoff. So try and stay as simple as possible. Wow, no drinking mouthwash either. Huh? No, my goodness, you do not want to run people away. No, none of that. Oh don't God. bite your nails. Don't bite your lips. This is a lot of stuff. There's a lot of information, a lot of control. And you might wear a suit into one office um, one way and look completely different when you walk into another office. How can you tell? What are you supposed to do? Stake out and see who comes out of the building? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. When I, um, as I said, when I was working in retail, if I, there's certain places I know, you know your own personality. You know how you can be more, most effective in certain locations. Um, For me, because of my personality and my body type i know certain retail stores would not gear to me so i would not look my best in them which means i could not give my best which means so, you just don't even bother with don't them. even bother don't even bother because of my body type i love their clothes but i know for a fact i would never uh, apply for a job at let's say tommy hilfiger or ralph Lauren. that's not my body type they're going to expect you to wear those things every day and if you don't look your best in it Customers will not want to yeah. buy the product. She would not look comfortable in in Ralph Lauren. Like he, she, it doesn't she, work she, that she's way. She's wearing this thing. I love that sweater that you wear in there. You know, and five dollars. That's another thing. As about prices, five dollars. You do not have to spend a million to look like a million. I wholeheartedly believe that. I do not believe in the whole concept of to look like a million bucks. You need to spend a million dollars. No. So if you're looking for a job and you don't have money anyway, you don't have yeah. to fret because no. you can't go buy. Uh, a six hundred dollar suit. No, no. There are places you can go to that are amazing. Um, the Eaton Center, or, or yeah. even Yorkdale. Um, Tristan. It used to be called Tristan in America. Now it's called Tristan. Mm-hmm. Their suits usually range from two fifty to three fifty. Okay. Plus, if you ask, they'll give you free alterations. If you ask, you have to ask. You never know. You must ask these questions. And this goes for everything, doesn't it? It, it doesn't. If you don't yeah, ask, you don't, you don't ask, get. You'll never get. You'll never get. They do free alterations. For me, when I get my suits, I automatically always make them three-quarter length in the sleeve. That just looks better on my body type. See, so you you can't mold yourself into your idea of what of what you should be. You have to work with what you have and, and just and maximize who you it. Are. Exactly. Yeah, but still exactly. no t-shirt. Still no t-shirt. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. And you you can call if you have questions. You're looking for a job or you you don't even have to be looking for a job. You're just having a little problem with the image thing. You don't feel like it's quite going the way it's supposed to go. Um, Nicolette Reed is here and we can talk all about that. By the way, NicoletteReed.com, N-I-C-K-O-L-E-T-T-E. Read R-E-I-D dot com is a good resource, and we'll tell you again um, in this half hour. Lynn Russell with you for the Mots on News Talk 1010 CFRB at 416-872-1010, 1-800-561-CFRB on your cell phone at star 8255.